The weight loss and fitness industry keeps scaring and confusing you guys about this nonsense about carbs and I'm pissed right off about it because I used to be morbidly obese. I weighed 275 pounds and every day that I stayed at that weight, I put my life at risk and I struggled and spent years trying to lose weight and I kept failing because I was listening to the BS that the weight loss and fitness industry was spewing about carbs. And I got so scared and so confused that anytime I ate carbs, it would, all heck would break loose. It would trigger my emotional eating and I would end up overeating, gaining weight and starting back at square one. So I'm gonna start with going through all of the lies and the BS and then I'm gonna tell you what I did, what worked for me to lose 130 pounds and keep it off for eight years without listening to the weight loss and fitness industry. <sighs> I gotta take a minute. <laughs> Roll up the sleeves. <sighs> no, I get so mad. Like I looked at Instagram in the searchy thing and I seen like three different reels with three different things about carbs, which was completely nonsense. So we'll start with one. Carbs are bad and they make you fat. And the biggest carb that gets a bad rap, bread. I don't know what bread ever did to hurt anybody. Then the next one is you need to take away all the carbs to lose weight. Like no carbs, if you eat carbs, you're gaining weight. Okay, wait, wait, sorry. You can eat carbs, but you can only eat certain ones and weight, when you eat them, you have to eat them at certain times. You can't eat them in the morning because it spikes your blood sugar and you can't eat them at night and you can't do this and don't eat it in the middle of the night and don't eat it at night and don't eat it at 9 a.m. And there's all these rules around when and what kind of carbs to eat. No wonder why you guys are so confused and struggling and you keep feeling and you don't know what to do with carbs. You're like lost. Here's the truth, carbs, don't make you fat. Eating too much does. And that was very hard for me to look at for a very long time. But what also happens is I would listen to the weight loss and fitness industry. And so I would remove carbs, but then I would break down because you can't not eat carbs forever. Like I can't not eat carbs forever. I would break down. I would eat a carb. I would feel guilty because the weight loss fitness industry said they were bad and then all heck would break loose. It would trigger my emotional eating and I'd end up going in this cycle where um, all heck would break loose, I would overeat and then I would try to lose weight again by removing the carbs and it just kept going in the cycle. So it was the eating too much, the emotional eating and the listening to the weight loss and fitness industry that I wasn't looking at but I was blaming the carbs because when all heck would break loose and I would overeat, I would eat carbs. So carbs would get the bad rap, but it's not the carbs, it's the eating too much. So this is what I did to lose 130 pounds and keep it off for eight years. I ate carbs the whole time, but less of them. So this is how I did it. I mostly chose whole grain carbs because they're slow digesting and they help me stay fuller longer because they had fiber. So like whole grain bread whole grain or ancient grain tortillas, popcorn, which has, you know, really good fiber in it. Um, this is, these are rice noodles, but I also, these are rice noodles from Costco, rice ramen, but I also chose like whole grain pasta and things like that. I stopped worrying about how many grams because, you know, if you watch my very, very old videos, because I've been on YouTube for a long time and I learn all the time, there was a time where I was worried about the amount of carbs to take in. Hi guys, it's time for meal two. We usually space our meals two to three hours apart. Meal two is a hard boiled egg, a little bit of salt, sugar free pudding cup, and a quarter cup of strawberries. But it's calories in, calories out. You have to be in a calorie deficit to lose weight. I don't need to fixate on the amount of grams of carbs. It's if I'm eating in a calorie deficit, I'll lose the weight. So eat the carbs I like, measure them out, and I lost the weight with the portion control. So I just looked on the back for the serving sizes. So this is one serving is one tortilla, and that's how I 
measured out all my portions and lost weight that way without obsessing about how many carbs to eat. The next thing is I got rid of all rules around when to eat the carbs because you can look anywhere and there's a different rule about what time or when to eat them or timing them around your workout. Don't eat carbs on the days you don't work out. Eat carbs on the day you do, but before and after. And that really messes with my head, especially because I have emotional eating. So I had to get rid of all of the rules and go, when do I want to eat the carbs? Like, I like eating toast for breakfast. I liked eating a sandwich for lunch. I liked eating pasta and rice and um, sometimes like potatoes and french fries and whatever for dinner, you know? So, oh, I'll just put them there. And guess what? I eat carbs at night too. Like the other night, I was craving a Pop-Tart at 11 o'clock at night. So I ate one. Do you wanna know what happened? Nothing. I woke up, I went to sleep, I had a great sleep, woke up the next morning and I ate my diet and I went on as usual. Nothing happened because I ate carbs. You guys gotta be careful who you follow on social media. This goes behind all the, the people that push so many rules like we're talking about with diet. These people don't like themselves. So they stim and kind of get off on self punishment, but they're not aware of that. So they project it on to you, the followers, mm -hmm. saying you're bad, this is bad, don't eat this, this, will make you unalive. This will make you unalive. This will inflame your belly. Stand on one foot, do a handstand on the roof at 3 a.m. if you're ever gonna have a car, but you shouldn't because you're a bad person. They don't like themselves. No. <laughs> so that's like underneath, they're projecting onto you. They the do the same with exercise. They don't, like people that do CrossFit and stuff like that, I'm not saying all those people, but you guys know the type that do torturous workouts also seem to project rules onto their followers. Yeah, and we don't sell that BS here. Like we, we don't sell fear because that was what kept us stuck for so long, struggling to lose weight. And Kyle, my husband, he's lost the same amount of weight as me and kept it off for the same amount of time eating carbs because we learned we don't treat weight loss as a punishment. When we did, we failed. When we like what we're eating and what we're doing, we succeed and that's why we've been able to keep the weight off for so long. Carbs are not bad. Do you have to eat less of them if you wanna lose weight? Yes, but it doesn't mean you never have to eat them or you have to be very picky about what you eat. You're allowed to eat what you like and enjoy it. I got nothing against CrossFitters, just I wouldn't listen to them on how to lift a dumbbell because I like my shoulders being in place. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like my knees where they are. Yeah, so the only rule that goes for weight loss, like I mentioned earlier, is calories in, calories out. You need to be in a calorie deficit to lose weight, which means, it doesn't mean you have to count calories. A calorie deficit means you need to consume less calories than you burn, you know, and that will be different for everybody. And I had to do trial and error, so did Kyle. We made up a meal plan, we portioned everything out according to the serving sizes on the packages, weighed ourselves after a week of eating that meal plan, if we lost weight, we did the same portions the next week. If we gained or we didn't lose weight, then we pulled back just a little bit on the portions and tried again until we found the right ones that work for us. We ate a balance the whole time. And what we found, like, anytime I would take away carbs, it would actually do me a disservice because it would make me constipated, bung up, because the slow digesting carbs have the fiber and it would help me with a balanced diet to be regular and have my body function properly. That felt too restrictive. So I would constantly be triggering my emotional eating by not eating carbs and it would backfire and I would end up gaining weight because I would eat the stuff that I took away, way more of it because I felt guilty and restricted. Just to give you a little example on some of the portions of what I ate, like um, for dinner, Kyle and I loved pasta, so we still ate it. We did one cup of cooked whole grain pasta, half a cup of pasta sauce, and three ounces of lean meatballs of whatever, chicken, turkey, beef, whatever. And so that's how we balance, we ate a balanced diet like that with a salad on the side with some light salad dressing, and that was balanced. That's how we included carbs. 
and ate balanced meals all the time. You know, a tuna sandwich, half a can of tuna, some light mayo, two slices of the whole wheat bread, everything in balance. The friends, I really hope that this inspires you guys to listen to you and what you want and your body and what works for you. There's a lot of baloney out there. And you know, Kyle and I always say, don't listen to us, we're idiots. Yeah, we're not keep, doctors, we're not medical friends. Keep in mind, I'm really dumb. Like I did Insanity, that workout. I did like <laughs> P90X. I did Ooh. lots of that stuff Me and too. hurt. I went in the gym and lifted like a maniac and tore both my shoulders multiple times Me too. each. I've hurt myself so many times. So we are very dumb, but as we get a little bit smarter, we try to pass on sure. things so that you guys don't fall in the same um, torturous traps that we did to ourselves. Yeah, exactly. And like Kyle's right, like you can go back and watch our old videos and you'll see how much we've learned. We've been learning this whole time. We make mistakes, but we tell you when we make mistakes. If we learn something, we share it. If we messed up, we share that too and we share how we fixed it. The moral of the story is, if you like bread, eat freaking bread, but you have to eat it in a calorie deficit if you wanna lose weight. Weight loss should never be a punishment to friends. If you like carbs, freaking eat them. You know, just eat less of them. Um, you should love what you're doing. You know, I always say, if you're not having fun, you're not getting it done. If you don't like it, you're not gonna stick to it. And for me, if I were to give up carbs forever, like I can't sustain that. So you've gotta do something you can sustain. If you want to know the exact meals and portions I ate to lose the weight, you can buy my weight loss ebook called The First 50. The link is down below and code Nicole will save you 10% off. We also have the Hoodult. I've got Kyle's favorite protein powder here. This is HTLT Sups. Strawberry cheesecake is Kyle's favorite flavor. Mine's luckier marshmallow cereal. Um, the link is down below. Code Nicole will save you 10% off. When we're in a deficit, that one's, I don't know why, but the strawberry cheesecake stands out even more. Like it, it gets good. sweeter and better as I'm dieting more and more. It is very good. Um, they also just like, we just got these literally today before we filmed. Um, these are the holiday flavors, the Paralyte, which is good for hydration. It's got like BCAAs and EAAs in it and electrolytes and stuff. Um, and then the pre-workout, it's jingle juice flavor. We tried the Paralyte tonight and it's kind of like an orange gumdrop. Yeah, it's really good. So code Nicole on that will save you 10% off as well. Watch this vid and this vid for more fun, sustainable weight loss tips because we are real friends losing weight in the real world. No fear on here, no BS. We're just, we're, we have baloney with carbs. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, thanks for watching. Peace and I'll catch you in the next one, cutie. Whoa. Peace. <laughs> See ya. See ya. <laughs> Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up.